Las Vegas is known as the entertainment capital of the world, but that title goes beyond the strip to community theaters that are trying to get by during this pandemic. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond shows us how local groups are coming together to survive. The spotlight on local theater companies is dark as Southern Nevada theater groups struggle to stay in business during the pandemic. Every company is trying to find its own way to continue, and they've lost revenue. We're doing everything we can to coping with COVID. We're relying solely on on the the kindness of our patrons. We are players. Creative organizations like the Playhouse struggle financially. The Las Vegas theatrical venue shut the doors five months after opening because of the virus. And we are still obligated to pay certain bills uh, and have zero income. The COVID closures impacting theaters from the community to the strip, but Benjamin Lowy says the current restrictions miss the mark. We are being held to the same standards as 2,000 seat amphitheaters, and that's something that we are struggling to keep up with. Our biggest struggle right now is that we're invisible to policymakers. Who try and persevere. Various local theater groups recently formed the Producers Alliance of Southern Nevada. Those who make theater happen are starting to come together. Our first job is to band together so that we can speak with one voice and hopefully get policies tailored to protect the local arts community that right now is overlooked. A partnership to aid in the recovery of the performing arts economy. And we all have things in the works, but we need the help of the community. Help to make sure the show goes on and COVID is not the final curtain call for local entertainment. Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now. EatMoreArtVegas.com is sharing news about all local art projects, including theaters. We'll post the link on our website where you can search and find ways to help the various groups right now.